Hello everybody, what is up? And welcome to Ready Meal Reviews. Oh, I am so sorry I've been away for so long. Um, now the main reason this channel has been quiet for a good couple of months now um, is, is, well, you can kind of see it on camera now. Um, this, this is, this is a different kitchen to the one before. The reason it's a different kitchen is because I'm in a different house. Um, yeah, I've moved house and unfortunately uh, my time has been diverted uh, because generally speaking house moving uh, it takes priority over ready meal reviewing um, so I've had to yeah yeah sort of prioritize doing stuff for the house move rather than eating food and talking about it on the internet so unfortunately that is why it has been so quiet for so long but that's sorted now we're in the new house it's wonderful it's amazing I can't believe we've actually finally got here um, and therefore this is the first night in the new house I've been able to do a ready meal review. Um, I wasn't intending on, I didn't think I was going to be doing one, but um, what I thought was going to happen didn't happen. So I've now got a couple of hours free. Um, I didn't have a ready meal bought in like I normally have. I normally go to the shops a few days before and pick out something I want to try out and review. Um, so I've had to go rummage through the cupboards and I've come up with this which is sort of, I suppose, a British equivalent, the American delicacy, which is Kraft macaroni and cheese, um, which I know you can get in the UK, but every time you see it, it just seems so American. It's a bit like when you see Hershey's or Reese's peanut butter cups. Although they're officially available in the UK now, you still feel like you're kind of eating or buying something that's been like specially imported. It feels like you're having something a bit special or... Well, not more special is probably not the right word, but something a bit left field, a bit you know out of the ordinary. Whereas this is proper British uh, macaroni and cheese. So rather than waffle on about it, let's cook it and see how it tastes. There we go. That is one bachelor's mac and cheese. Um, I've got a confession. I've got a confession to make. You see, on the instructions, I'll just knock the gimbal there. Uh, you can see, oh, also excuse the thumb, uh, <laughs> microwave guidelines empty pack contents into a 2.4 litre or 4.5 pint microwavable bowl. I don't have a 2.4 litre or 4.5 pint microwavable bowl. Um, the only bowl I've got that's that big or could be that big is a metal mixing bowl and obviously as I'm sure you're all aware metal and microwaves does not mix so unfortunately I have to confess I did it on the hob it was easier still not perfect because the only measuring jug we have in the house is currently in the fridge full of milk so I had to basically fill a glass of water then fill a glass about two th oh, no not two thirds a third of the way up with milk and then the butter I just kind of, because the uh, the weighing scales um, are still in the garage from the move, uh, <laughs> to just guess on the butter. So the water, the milk and the butter are all guessed. Um, I boiled it. I didn't boil it gently. I boiled it probably a bit harsher. Um, it still wasn't cooked after five minutes. So I turned it down and let it simmer a bit more. Um, it got a bit stuck to the bottom of the pan. Um, it probably took about 10, 11, 9 something like that minutes to cook um, so basically all of these instructions uh, have gone out the window and this is what we're left with now it looks all right doesn't it it looks like mac and cheese now the thing you get with this that you don't get or sorry the thing you don't get with this that you do get with a proper mac and cheese is uh, a crispy top this is obviously just in a saucepan so there is no crispy top um, but let's give it a try Mm. Pasta's nice, it's got a bit of bite to it. I'm gonna go for a bit more because that was a very small mouthful. I'm gonna get a real big, fill the fork up with just loads and loads of mac and cheese. Well, oh, listen to that. Oh, yeah, it's quite a, there's plenty of sauce. Don't have to worry about that. Mmm. really not bad it tastes like childhood mac and cheese it's got a cheesiness to it obviously but it's not so cheesy that I could tell you what sort of cheese it is it's just like generic cheese flavor in the same way orange squash you know immediately it's orange flavored and yet it tastes absolutely nothing like a real orange or fresh orange juice this 
It tastes like cheese, but it's nothing like any cheese that you can buy on the shelf in the cheese section. Apart from maybe like Dairy Lee or something. Yeah, Dairy Lee, it's not too far off a Dairy Lee sort of flavour. Or Laughing Cow, or maybe even a Kraft cheese slice, even though this isn't Kraft, it's Bachelors. But it's tasty, I mean, you know. Mm. And that is quite good. I mean, if you're in a bind, if you knew something quick and you haven't got a microwave, it's brilliant because you can do it on the hob in a few minutes. If you want something quite cheap, I think, I mean, you can get them on offer and they're less than a quid, I think, sometimes. I don't know how much though, my wife bought them. I have absolutely no idea, but I would guess that they're similar to other, you know, pasta in a packet dishes, so they can't be very expensive. Whereas like a, a mac and cheese, I mean, you can get a value one or a basics one for probably about 80p, but they are pretty miserable. And like, a, I mean, the finest one I did, I think that was meant to be about 350 or something like that. But these aren't too expensive. Like, so you don't need a microwave. If you don't like crispy top on your macaroni and cheese, then this is a good option because there is no crispy top. And because it's in a saucepan, you know, you've got a bit of flexibility with it. I think that's the thing about microwave meals is you have to have it as it is. But as the packet says, if I just grab the packet, where we go, why not try, let's see if I can get this in, why not try stirring in crispy bacon bits for a delicious twist on a classic? Because you can do it in a saucepan, you can kind of customise it. If you want a bit of extra herbs or something, you can do that. If I'd wanted to, I could have made up some crispy topping and thrown it on the top afterwards. Whereas when it's a microwave meal, it's, just, it's a bit more of a faff because it's in the packet and you're not meant to take the filter. I'm sure you can do it, but yeah, I feel like a microwave meal is more, you know, you buy it as you buy it and you eat it as you buy it kind of you know it is what it is whereas at least with this it gives you a little bit of flexibility if you want to make it you know just right overall it's worth a try if you like mac and cheese or if you want something quick and easy and you ain't got a microwave go for it even if you have got a microwave go for it um just be wary that you probably find it easier to do it on the hob so uh yeah anyway thank you very much for watching i'm going to finish this off because it is really quite delicious um or at least by stuff you cook out of a packet on a hob standards please like subscribe comment whatever if you've got any suggestions for what you want to see me do next by all means put it in the comments below i'll be more than happy to have a look at your suggestions and if they're good i will give them a try and if they're disgusting i might still give them a try but we'll see what you come up with see you next time bye for now